for whatever reason, in doing some adventuring. <clears throat> so you head to the local adventurer's guild, right? The bar. Basically a giant coffee shop, archery store, Chipotle, all kind of rolled into one, where you can do all of your adventuring sign-up needs. Does it have this maze? Does it have this maze? Did I mention I went to an archery shop? <laughs> <laughs> Brian? As you are heading to the Adventurers Guild to seek further polemic adventuring, you are contacted by Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh. Three squires who offer you their service on a very important quest. You need to quickly... Jack, move the camel cashews. we got to see Huey, Dewey, and Louie here. Oh, wow. Huey's the one squatting, Dewey's the one with the gun shooting the gun, and Louie is the one that's it's wearing white. Wearing white. There you go. Canonist Yade from Hommel Lane, who is in charge of the lawgivers, the keeper of the flock, has noticed a tremendous increase in chaos and disruption. Brigands are running rampant through the town. The whole population is terrified, and people are going missing. <laughs> Okay, gamblers is You need to quickly assemble a party and get out here as fast as you can from this urban metropolis to the Hommel Lane, which is on the boundary of the known world. Where? Right on the edge. Hommel Lane. Hommel Lane? Hommel Lane. Hovel. Hommel Lane. Like One word. Hummel? Like Hommel? Except Hommel. Hommel Lane. Well, it just so happens that my ancestor's name is Hommel. Ah. Uh. Interesting. Perhaps they named this lane after one of your more distinguished ancestors. I'm, I'm sure home. they did. <laughs> Do you, are you interested in joining Absolutely. the Brave Paladin on his quest? That is my battle cry. That, that is your <laughs> it is. Brave Paladin? <laughs> my battle cry is Hafrin Hamel. <laughs> there you go, man. That's a mouthful, I know, but people don't understand it. <laughs> really? No one's gonna, that's what she said? <laughs> or... <laughs> Who else will be joining me on this path? Unspeakable evil and the terrible blight of chaos that runs on chat must be vanquished. I walk around the corner with the note and go, oh shit, it's you. <laughs> I, I, I'm writing on your shoulder, I'm like, someone said chaos. Would you rather me go and get all the spoils for myself? Keep it up. <laughs> Just keep it up. <laughs> No, come on, you're, as you're it, setting us up. As adventurers, you know that Hama Lane uh, historically has been the site of many unusual, unusual occurrences. Chaos seems to be deeply embodied in the mountains and rivers nearby, and oftentimes strange ancient artifacts are returned from the hills nearby. Sounds like money, Sark. Sounds like money. Always no, more after uh, the last couple days. After the bender. <laughs> You've also heard that a lot of the recent <laughs> merchant <laughs> caravans that have gone into that area have been attacked. In fact, while you're searching for your party, Wendell Hefner, Wendell, a halfling, Rastafarian approaches you. <laughs> he needs a escort to Hommel Lane to take some of his important goods <laughs> to the neighborhood. <laughs> He's got a horse-drawn wagon and would really appreciate traveling with you guys. <laughs> Joffrey Mon, where are you? Wendell looks familiar to me. Yeah, yeah, you may have been his brother. <laughs> Joffrey. Yeah. Somewhere in Neverland. <laughs> Mother, twice removed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big clan. They're very busy, these halflings. They are. <laughs> They move a lot of goods. <laughs> a lot of goods, man. <laughs> He's very popular in the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> well, so in fact, he comes up to you and he's like, you know, what happened, man? What? You were going to collect for me last night, you didn't show. Collect? Is this Wendell? Remember, we sent you to get the money, they weren't paying. The money? Oh, what is this, man? You were supposed to take care of this for me. I came to you as a friend. Friend? Who are you? Oh, I'm Wendell, man. You know this. You know me. You owe him money. We've been in business for a long time. 
Wins a man Not this one. Where is the money? Don't go near him. I don't remember. <laughs> All I got is uh, 20. 20 gold. He comes over. He comes over to you. He goes, hey, brother man. This hey, man, brother man. This man was supposed to do a job for me and he did not come. Can you help me with this? Are you one of those that refuse to speak to me and act like you don't know me anymore? Oh, I know your kind, my man, and I have what you need. Keep your distance. Oh. But you say he's just a friend. <laughs> but you say he's just a so what, are you looking, what are you looking for? Oh, I need a ride to, uh, to Hummel Lane. Big deal going down out there. Ten gold. Each. Oh, come on. Hummel Lane! I no, ten gold to you, my brother. I'm not going Unspeakable I need a little evil. special attention if you know what I mean. Derek, the this rest of these guys I'm not vanquished. so sure about. I tell him I'll do it for 15. 15. My brother, my brother Diva. Jack, what's your character's name? I don't remember Diva. what I was uh, supposed to You and I are going to have Diva? to have a conversation Diva. a little bit. We must go and destroy this unspeakable evil. Diva. Oh, fantastic. This is what I'm... I this man is an honorable man. I have random names and call him a character Diva. The two razor claw shifters. Oh, you guys are in. You guys are in. I don't get gold this time. Brian, you, you've got a pretty <laughs> motley lot here, and there's a diva okay. looking delusional in the corner. All divas look delusional. <laughs> it goes with the wings and the white skin, and their bright, bright complexion. And don't let them out in the sun. Oh, those them. dazzling blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> Wait, we should have played the other <laughs> Do you have a relationship with anyone at the table, Jack? Yes. What is your relationship? Siblings. Oh, you guys are siblings. We are siblings. <laughs> I am the dwarven siblings elf. Siblings and all but blood. There so you he go. got transformed. Brother from another mother. <laughs> and father. <laughs> Maybe the entire clan? <laughs> As you guys are assembling your party, you notice a, a, a halfling or a half elf. Do not sample Carjo. That's needs a, he's he's <laughs> going to person to person looking for a ride to Hommel Lane. He has to go visit his sick grandmother. He's got to get to his grandma's house. Can he travel with you guys? No. He'll pay five silver pieces. No. <laughs> One gold piece. <laughs> he's like, One dumb. gold piece? Each. I hear the roads are unsafe. I would just like to travel along with you. Oh. I want him to do an insight check. Insight check. Uh, so we'll slow down okay. Six. Six. He, he looks like a very, uh, half -elf. <laughs> very half-elven, does look like he's from the boondocks, right? He's not dressed in urban sophisticated clothing, so he may be telling the truth, but it's hard to tell. He could be up to no good. He anyway, does have a kind of hustler shuffle to him. I'm saying no. You say no. I'm the vote. No. I'll help you. I want to see. Insight. I say no. little insight check? Yeah. Six. Same as you. I agree with this guy. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> well, since I rolled a six, I'm, I'm going to say more you guys look at him, This is strange. The more you guys look at him, what can streetwise help you out? The more you're strangely attracted to him in a kind of cumberbunch kind of way, you know, he's got like this British sophistication. He's kind of charming. What could you know, uh, streetwise do me on this? Uh, streetwise? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Then I changed my mind. Good. Since, yeah, I'm, no, get, I since I'm starting to like this guy. Oh, right. In yes. fact, he's he's got his hand on one of the squire's knee, and they're kind of laughing with together. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Which one? We'll accept the five silver. Silver. It's Dewey. <laughs> it's always Dewey. We'll accept the five silver. Okay, five silver. Oh, and he's very excited, and Dewey's, Dewey's feeling a little uncomfortable. They should come along. We need help. Well, move closer to the door. Alright. You so you, you've got a... Fodder. They were here at the... <laughs> what's your... What's your... What, what, are you lawful good? My fodder is neutral. dead. <laughs> neutral? Un yeah, unaligned here also. Alright, so you've got a party here. You've got... Uh, let's get let's get minis on the path. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I'm apparently a dwarf today. Uh, now, these are the henchmen, right? How did I find them again? That come with mini... That come with... Uh, Dave, how did I, I find my henchmen? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the coat. You don't have a mini? What do you need? Uh, I found you. Grab a dime yeah, that you're not yeah. me. By the way, every time we see something Jack was I could take that cover in, I'm going to jump into it. All right. What are you? I'm a halfling. <laughs> something short. I would have brought No, don't be angry. How about a four-sided? <laughs> I actually yeah. use that. Okay, there's the halfling warlock. Magic missile. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, they were done like a year ago. Someone from yeah. When did we start them? Um, I'm all scaring a lizard. <laughs> that's what they were, that's what they were a year ago. Now, there you go. Come on, on the trail, guys. Brian, you're up front with your squires. Yes. Actually, how do you get my henchmen again? These are squires that were sent to you by a, or by Canonists. By the 